In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to animate a bar chart using Adobe After Effects. Now, I've got my composition here, which I've imported the background of my chart uh, from what I drew in Adobe Illustrator. You can import a background from anywhere you want. You can draw that in any program you want, and you can import most formats directly into Adobe Illustrator. So the first thing I want to do is to create a number of rectangles. So if I go to my rectangle tool, I'm going to create my rectangles based on what my end results are for my chart. So I'll create one that reaches 100%, and you can see that's made a new shape layer over here. I'm going to deselect that shape layer because I want to create a new shape layer and draw another rectangle. Let's say 75%. Let's deselect that so I can draw another one at 25%. I'll deselect that one. Well, if I leave this layer highlighted, let me show you what happens if you draw another layer with that one highlighted. It creates a second rectangle under that layer. Now, I don't want that because that will be slightly more tricky to animate. So I'm going to undo that. I'm going to deselect that shape layer and draw this one as a new layer. There we go. So now I have four different shape layers. I can make this invisible invisible again, which is now ready to animate. You can spend more time getting these to the shape that you want them to, or the size you want them to. I've just quickly roughly put these together. You can also change the colour of any of these using the fill option at the top there. So let's just change a couple of these to red, just to make it look a little bit more varied. There we go. Right, now to animate these. There's two ways you can animate the growth of your chart. The first way, if I just shrink all of these down, is using the position coordinate, which can look a little bit rough. So let me show you what that would look like. If I expand that and go to transform, so I can drag the second coordinate to move that up and down. So if it's coming into the frame, you could basically animate that like so. But the way that looks slightly neater is to use a scale. Now by default, if you try and change the scale of your object, it's just going to disappear off towards the anchor point. Now the anchor point is basically this little crosshair here. So what you want to do, the very first thing you want to do, is using the pan behind or anchor point tool, you want to move the anchor point to the bottom of your shape. That way, when you reduce the scale, it will scale from that point. Now the second thing you might notice is as this is reducing in height, it's also reducing in width. Now we don't want that. Let me just undo. So what we want to do is we want to unlink the scale like so. Now the last thing we want to do is toggle animation. So that's going to animate the movements. So as you see now, I can adjust the width and I can adjust the height independently. So let's start with this at 0%, like so. Let's move this up to about one second in. And let's increase that to 100%. There we go. So now as you see what that'll do, that will now grow up to 100%. Now what I can do, I can move these keyframes further along the timeline, so this animation starts slightly later. Let's say start that from two seconds on. And what that's basically doing, it's saying from this keyframe here, it's 0% height. By this keyframe, it's at 100% height, and After Effects is the animating for you. So I'm just going to quickly whiz through and do that for the rest of these layers, one layer at a time. There we go. So now they're all growing at roughly the same time, apart from the fourth rectangle. So what I can do, if I just minimise each of these layers, if you press the U key on the keyboard, it will show you only the keyframes which you're currently using. So it gives you a much tidier area to work with. So what I can do here, I can get each of these keyframes, highlight them both, and just move them so they start in slightly different places. So let's just adjust these all like so, so we'll start slightly after each other. So you'll see the first one will grow, then the second one, then the third, then the fourth. Let's play that and see how it looks. So that's a little bit better. Now one thing I've noticed, it looks a little bit kind of uh, 
mechanical, a little bit abrupt. It'd be nice if the animation accelerates and decelerates into itself. So let's play that one more time. They stop suddenly. So what we want to do, we want to ease in and ease out. So I'm just going to highlight all of these keyframes. I'm going to right click. I'm going to choose Keyframe Assistant and Easy Ease. Now you see the keyframe symbols changed. Now what it'll do is it'll speed up and slow down subtly. So watch this. That looks a lot more organic, a lot more pleasant. So that, in a nutshell, is how to animate a bar chart in Adobe After Effects.